Good evening, Interworld. Sergeant Slack here from Banana Bomb Productions, and uh, we are in actually the Interworld at large. This is uh, the new YouTube layout that's been brought out, YouTube 4.0 as it's widely being called, the fourth version that Google have done since they've gotten their hands on the site. And it's not that impressive. Uh, we'll start the tour of the new features here on my channel. This is the Banana Bomb Productions channel. And everything's pretty much the same. Backgrounds there. Stuff there. There's a little few latent clues as to what's to come, but we'll get on to that. In terms of how this page works, the functionality kind of remains unchanged. You can still watch my videos, you can still see everything I've uploaded recently in order. Uh, you can still hit subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> see what I did there? And yeah, I mean, all, all, all still works, everything still links properly, that's all fine. Uh, moving on, and the biggest change is now uh, this. I mean, look at this. This When I first saw this on YouTube about a month ago, when it first started popping up, I thought it was a mistake. I thought somehow the mobile site had been linked onto the main page because everything's left-hand aligned for no reason. One of my major gripes with the internet now compared to how the internet was in the 90s is that there's so much screen real estate that just goes unused. Usually things are right down the middle and then there's space over here and there's space over here that's not being used. Google have gone to the next logical step, piled everything over to the left and left you with this humongous space over here. Look, I paid for this space. I paid for a widescreen monitor so I could look at this space. Mmm, thank you, Google. I mean, this is just everything is squashed over here to the left, and this is mobile. This is a mobile setup. There is no reason in normal computing. This is a this is a harbinger of things to come. This is a sign. This is what the Google um Oh, what the frigs are even called on the Chromebook? The Google OS, this is what it's going to be like. It's going to tell you how you can use your computer. It's going to suggest ways of doing it. I mean, it's already happening with Windows 8, with the freaking Surface thing. You can only use apps that you've bought on the Microsoft App Store on no, that's just wrong. I'm an old-fashioned computing guy. The only reason I use 64-bit computing now is to get enough RAM in my machine to actually make it possible to do the things that I want to, and for it to not take three days. I'm quite retro in terms of things because I liked it when a computer was yours and you told it what to do. The problem with this is where this is forced upon us. You can't go back to the old YouTube just because you liked it better. No, you stuck with this. You stuck with this all squidged in on the left with still space not being used here. But I mean, look at this. It's like, what? 40% of my screen is being used? And it's showing me things that I don't want to see. So, uh, the usual YouTube watch page has been replaced with what to watch. So this is a play straight out of the Apple playbook. I mean, Google, Steve Jobs would be so proud of Google right now. Recommended for you because you watched Minecraft fail, Robo Sumo Challenge 4. How do, I'm not going to click on that video because it is an 18 plus video. It is pretty serious stuff. It has nothing to do with Gary's mod. It has nothing to do with the Yogg's cast. It has nothing to do with Robo Sumo Challenge. Why is it here? Why am I being recommended this? I want to watch this. I came here to watch what I want to watch. Are you telling me what to watch? The Infected has nothing to do with Tech It. It's just annoying. There's just no need for any of this. It's just frustrating as hell. Oh, the whole of the site has been treated to this unwanted makeover. So look at all that space. Uh, if we go to the upload page, you can see how things have changed here. You can now record straight from uh, Capture, Photo Slicer, Go Google Plus Hangout. These are all, uh, well, these two are new things. Webcam Capture has always been there. Drag and drop files. Yeah, I really want to drag and drop files. No, I don't. I want to just click and do the upload thing like you normally do, like you do with every other thing in computing. Stop trying to fix what isn't broken. It's so annoying. Next up, uh, the video manager. Oh, new improved dashboard. Go to the dashboard. All right, shall we? Shall we? Let's go to the dashboard. Let's see what's on the dashboard. 
video views, subscribers, net change, all, all the stuff that's in my analytics then, really. So, no need for that. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back. What have we got here? It looks pretty much the same as the old stuff. You know, it's the video manager. It tells you what your videos have been up to, how many views, favorites, all those kind of things. They haven't really changed this. There was no need for any changes, and thankfully, it survived without them. Now, the biggest frustration about this now is, of course, this what to watch thing. Because there's, there's no coming in anymore and just going, upload everything like you used to do. Now, we're going to be dictated to what we're going to watch by Google, which... No, there is, however, a way around this. If you go to my subscriptions here, and you can check this. I mean, this is all activity at the moment, so it's got comments, it's got people liking videos, things that I don't really want to see when I'm coming to YouTube to watch the new videos that the people I've subscribed to watch. So you can go up here at the top, uploads only. Boom, and providing you don't want to use more than half your screen to look at these videos, then that's fine, because it's all pushed over there on the left. So you can do that, you can watch things how you used to, kind of, although judging by what usually happens to this kind of feed page when things come in with uh, new Google versions of YouTube, it's probably going to be a little bit broken for a few days. And hopefully it'll get there in the end and we can get back to using YouTube for what it was for, which is watching videos, not being recommended things by Google algorithms that don't quite hit the mark, but are still probably better than anything else out there. Ugh. I feel a lot better now after I've got that off my chest. I had a nice good wind. So, this is Sergeant Slack from Banana Bomb Productions saying thanks very much for watching my rant about the new YouTube, as it turned out. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you did. Leave a comment and tell me what your most disliked thing about the new YouTube is. And I will catch you next time. Ta-ra!